not too long ago, observability was a buzzword. Overhyped is just another way to monitor the IT system. Flash forward to today. The observability market, I would say, is on fire. Well, I gotta say, yeah. I love your shirt. Yeah. When I wanna talk about observability, absolutely, I know who to turn to. Absolutely, yeah. Full stack observability is what it says. Yes. <laughs> AI, cloud technologies, connected devices have all left the network highly distributed, which is why for telecom. Observability is now mission critical. They really are a networking company at their core, and so they have so much going around, and really for observability, network has been really underserved. Like a lot of times it's silo tools, it's a lot of data collection, so it's kind of a, an expensive proposition to get full breadth insights. Cisco looks to change that. Its full stack observability platform provides visibility into all areas of the IT environment from the application layer to networking, infrastructure, security, and cloud domains. The platform is collecting data at all those layers, even third-party applications, to better detect anomalies, performance issues, and threats. Cisco formally unveiled the platform in June. It has since expanded the platform with its partners who have developed new modules to better address their customer needs. We had a chance to learn more at Cisco Partner Summit. Well, you are one of the partners to really bring the full stack observability platform to life here for Cisco. Tell us about what you've done so far. Yeah, so I think observability, uh, you know, so the, the first one, uh, it all begins with the use case, right? So uh, you got to be able to focus on the use case and what are the pain points uh, for the application user or the administrator. So our first module, vSphere observability, uh, primarily were targeted uh, to be towards the VM admin, right? and being able to provide uh, the, the full stack viewpoint, right, in a VMware stack, all the way from applications to the VMware layer uh, and below, right? So it's not just uh, enough to be able to glance insights into VMware itself, but there are other related components. There is networking, there is compute, network storage, all of that, you cannot look at it in silos, right? And that's what really full stack visibility provides. Same thing with our other modules where, you know, we, we announced today SAP observability. And what that does is being able to glean insights into a complex SAP landscape. The deep visibility stems from the platform's vendor agnostic approach. It does that through an open telemetry framework. So the observability platform is predicated on ingestion of telemetry. And there are basically three types of telemetry. Metrics that indicates what's happening and like CPU utilization is a metric. Throughput of a network is a metric. How much business you close in amount of million dollars last week is another metric. So it's pretty an aggregate information. We have events and logs which are usually time stamped. So we have something that happens on a given time. You monitor sequentially or you want a lottery is an event, right? Or the last one is tracing when you map the experience of how many times someone click on the screen, if you put on the card and you browse around. So when you bring all those signals together, we build the Cisco platform on an open fashion. What I mean by that, we are multi-vendor, but the signals are standardized on the open source format of open telemetry. So I can have a metric being ingested for an AWS or for a Cisco product or for a hardware for another vendor or even a business process that runs on a code that someone wrote that's not even me. Why? Because they are a metric. They are a telemetry signal that I can transform to open telemetry as the standard signal. The innovation in this space comes at an interesting time for telcos, who continue to face complexities related to hybrid work, cloud expansion, and costly network upgrades. A telco today must be proactive in how it manages its network, and it must do so in a cost-effective way. Now that's something that Noble 9's integration into the observability platform offers. Yeah, so we have a product called Noble 9 Reliability Center, and it's really a single source of truth for all of the reliability across an enterprise. So we work with companies that are in financial services, in retail, um, in telecom, and uh, other forms of media, uh, manufacturing, et cetera. And really what we're trying to do is help them find those mission critical workloads where downtime equals dollars, right? And they can really set some goals. And so like in telecom, people are familiar with the idea of being you know, the dial tone, right? I want to be five nines, six nines reliable. And that's where Noble 9 comes in. We're trying to help them find the right number of nines. But if you're running a service that's five nines reliable, it can be very expensive. So when you think about managing reliability and saying, 
you know what? Certain areas, mission critical, need to be always on. It's worth the investment. Other areas, you know, maybe there's some back office processes or things that aren't touching customers. Maybe we can reduce the reliability goals and that saves us some money and it lets us innovate. What outcomes, what value have they seen so far? Yeah, so some of the customers I'm working with, you know, one huge value add, which maybe not everybody thinks about, is reducing the number of false alarms that they send to their uh, engineering teams. You know, if you've ever been woken up at three in the morning and you get a page that says, hey, the service is down, go fix it. You get out of bed, you log in, and the service is already recovered because so much of the cloud has actually got resiliency built into it. Um, we reduce that frustration almost you know, 92%, I think, was the case study we've had. And of course, it's hard to get through any tech story today without talking about AI. In order for telcos and enterprises to get the most out of their AI-trained models, you need to ensure that model doesn't drift, which means the input data changes over time. Cisco's partner, Evolutio, has developed a module within the Cisco Observability platform to address that. It's an ML ops, so machine learning observability platform to say, you know, what kind of trending are we doing with our machine learning models? And um, are, is it starting to drift? Are we having accuracy issues? And a, that has been a very underserved market and really hasn't been in the main observability space. Now, as we've mentioned throughout this video today, Cisco really sticks out in the observability space for its vendor agnostic platform approach. This compares to many of the siloed solutions on the market today. And Cisco is doing that through its partners who have innovated with their modules, addressing all sorts of use cases, some that we haven't even mentioned yet. So be sure to stay tuned for that and much more right here on Light Reading. Till next time, I'm Diana Blass.